All right, in this lesson right here, what we want to do is take a look at how we can bring our own custom material into the level so that we can use it in our matinee sequence that we're putting together. I mean, think about it. Come on. The moment you can start building your own stuff inside of Maya or 3ds Max or Lightwave and then animating it over there and then bringing that into your level to use in a movie, that, that makes the sky the limit. Oh, yeah. I mean, you can do anything. That's right. As I said in the last video. So um, that's exactly what we've done here. Over inside of Maya, we have modeled a character. We have then applied bones to her, and we then skinned her, okay, so that we can then, of course, rotate the joints around, or bones, if you want to refer to them as that, and the character would deform, the geometry would deform. Then what we did, as opposed to animating her ourselves, because we were on such a tight time limit, we then exported her out over to Motion Builder, and Motion Builder is an incredible animation application. Yes, it is. And it comes with a fantastic library of clip art, and this clip art is clip motion, if you will. Right. Okay? So motion it's a it's a, it's a bunch of motion capture data. So basically, we cruised through its uh, clip art and found the motion that most uh, you know appealed to us, applied it to our character, then our character looks super cool. We then sent her back over to Maya, where we then used Actor X to export her out to a PSA and a PSK file. And we're going to be looking at both of these in just a second. And that brings us to right here. How do we then get that into Unreal Ed. So I'm going to come over here to my animations browser, and from in here I'll come up here to file, and there's going to be two main things we're going to be working with, mesh import and animation import. So let's go ahead and come down to mesh import, because the first thing we need is going to be our geometry. Okay, so we're looking in our matinee folder, and I've got ladyfighter.psk. Now the PSK file is containing our geometry. It's our raw geometry, it's our reference pose, and it's you know, various pieces of information within the file. And again, this was created from the ActorX plugin from Maya. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and select the PSK file and tell it to open. Now it's going to give me the import mesh slash animation dialog where it's asking what package would I like to save this to and what will the name be. So the package, let's go ahead and say, package is going to be my level. And why is it going to be my level, Joel? So that it can be inside and self-contained inside of our level. That's right. And then we'll come down here and the name, Lady Fighter, that's all good. So I'll go ahead and click OK. Mm -hmm. And it says new object, Lady Fighter. So I'll go ahead and click OK. And look at that. Mm -hmm. There she is. Let's go ahead and maximize this because we're going to need it in just a minute. And we'll go ahead and move this over as well. Now, she's looking kind of scary. Yes, she she's is. She's kind of looking like the swamp thing, right? Yeah. Kind of. I mean, you can see the green swampy look. Yeah. In other words, that's the default texture when there is no texture applied. So right now, if I come down here to skin and open up material, there's nothing applied to her. Of course, she does have UVs, and she does have a very quick texture that was put together in Photoshop, so no laughing, okay? <laughs> so what I need to do is bring that texture in as well. So I'll come over here to textures, uh, file. We'll do an import, just like we did in the last lesson. And I'll come down here, and I'll grab out uv 2targa file. Yeah, my naming convention is super hot right now, okay? So just ignore that. But that's what I just happened to call the file. So I'll go ahead and click open. And again, what package are we going to save it to? What group name? I'll go ahead and clear that out. And I'll leave the name the way it is. So I'll go ahead and say OK. And now let's find it. There it is. Like I said, no laughing. <laughs> You're laughing. <laughs> You're desperate to laugh. So we'll go ahead and select the texture, and we'll come over here to our animations browser again and watch how easy this is. We'll simply click. And use. Ooh. That's right. See, now you're going, ooh, in my texture, instead of laughing. I set you up for that one. <laughs> okay, so now that we've got our character in, we've got texture in, look what's missing over here. Our animation sequences. No animation. We need to bring our animation sequences in. And there's going to be, become something really important right here, the default animation property, which is currently set to none. Keep that in mind. So I'll go ahead and come up here to file. I'll come down to Animation Import, and from Animation Import, I've got a PSA file in here. Now, the PSA file contains our uh, skeletal animation, raw data, so we'll go ahead and grab that, and I'll just simply click Open. Again, I get the same dialog I did a second ago. We're going to be saving it to my level, and I'm going to go ahead and copy this name right here, Lady Fighter Anim, because I'm going to use that over here in Default Animation to link this up. I'll go ahead and click OK. And it brings in a series of sequences. Now, at this point, everything's been brought in. Everything seems fine. But if I do not put 
the Lady Fighter anim animation set over here for the default animation. If I just leave that at none, and then I go and place her in the level and set it up so that she can respond to animation, and then I say play any of these sequences, she's just going to stand there and look at you like you got a problem. Oh, yeah. In other words, she's not going to do anything. So why is she not doing anything? Because this animation no longer exists there. If you was to save and close out Unreal Ed, then open it back up and reopen your map, all this is going to be gone. So it becomes very important that we make sure we put this animation set Lady Fighter Anim over here. So I'll go ahead and paste it. And as soon as I hit enter, you'll notice that we're going to have some supporting information placed around this. And that's going to let you know that you typed it right. That's what I like to tell people. If you didn't type it right, think you're not going to get this extra information. And look at the extra information. My level dot Lady Fighter Anim. 